What's up you guys? All right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this vlog. So pretty much this is the deal. Hunter is out of town for work for the next four days. Sorry, excuse my dog. I just put on dog walking clothes, so he's like freaking out. Hey, we're gonna go on a walk, okay? It's happening. I just had to tell them what's going on. Okay, so I love you. Um, so I thought I would vlog in the next few days, just me, just some girl time. Um, girl time with Goose and kind of just bring you guys along the next few days of what I do when Hunter's out of town. So um, that's pretty much the deal. And we're about to go on a little doggy walk. It's Monday. And you need a bath, yuck. Um, I wanted to show you guys quickly what I'm wearing. It's got a really cute new little outfit from Fabletics which I'm kind of obsessed with. They have the cutest fitness wear. So cutest little set. It is like this um, emerald green leopard color. This is the top. It's kind of like a crop top slash sports bra. It's definitely a sports bra, but I like how it's like a little bit more covered. And then the leggings are really cute. Let me see if I can back up enough for you to see them. There you go. So here's the full outfit. Um, so cute. I'm wearing a small on the bottom and a small on the top. I feel like I could have gone extra small on the leggings, so I kind of feel like they run a little bit big. I just, I don't feel like super sucked in. So if you like them a little bit more, like they definitely fit well. Um, but if you like your stuff, your workout stuff, like super tight, I would go down a size on the leggings. Um, and I actually have a bunch of more pieces from them to show. I got a whole shipment in from them. So thank you so much to Fabletics for partnering with me on this part of today's vlog. So I'm gonna go do a dog walk and when I get back, I'll show you guys the rest of the pieces. Like I'll do a little try on. Um, but I'm loving their fitness wear. Like honestly, it's so cute, trendy. Like I, I am picky with um, fitness wear and it's like such good quality and so affordable um they do like a vip program where you basically get everything discounted and it's so inexpensive um which is such a good thing if you really like cute fitness wear because cute active wear can be so expensive from other brands um so if you really like staying kind of like on trend with everything and trying new different styles or even just like classic styles they have like black leggings and stuff I don't know they're just a really cute brand so i'm really excited to have discovered them and to be working with them because i love it it's like so my vibe just threw on this little hoodie this is from blue jean baby um it's a local store here in dallas but they have instagram you can buy on their instagram we're gonna start the day off with a dog walk i just wanted to get my coffee i'm gonna put it in a yeti hey 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 got a little short yeti here for walks hunter and i usually fill these up for um dog walks they're like perfect because they're kind of small not small, but they're like perfect size, but coffee. And then I've shared this a bunch, but figured I'd show it again. It's my favorite almond creamer right now. This is the pumpkin spice flavor. And um, I've been looking for like a non-dairy, like kind of something to put in my coffee. And I really like this one. It's a bit sweet, but I'm liking it right now just for like the fall season. Um, I do not have a stir, so I'm using this. Don't judge me. Uh, yeah, it's a bit sweet, but I'm enjoying it, and it's way better than some of the other almond brands that I've tried that taste like cardboard, so I'm happy with it. Um, okay, so let's go on a walk. I'm going to put my sneakers on, get a poop bag, and we'll go. This dog that lives next to us is so obnoxious. He just barks and barks and barks and barks and barks all day. All day. Here we go, going on the walk. Beautiful day outside. Wow, it's just a glorious fall day. Noah, come here. Don't antagonize them. Um, I know I get questions, so the glasses are Walmart. They're from my Walmart video. It's probably really windy, so I will put this away or put some music over it to a little B-roll. Bye. I think I'm gonna do a quick tidy up. 
of the studio because it's gotten a little crazy. So. not perfect but this room is very difficult to keep clean because I just constantly am filming shooting opening packages styling outfits like it's a room that is just like fully used so it's hard to keep it like super organized so I feel like I'm cleaning it every day oh of course and this one tracks so many little crumbs on this carpet because it's white I can see everything so hi I see you are you still wet from your walk Eek. Um, okay, so I'm just quickly, I'm gonna put on some makeup and my hair and then we will try on the rest of the Fabletic stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, got some hair and makeup on. Um, and now it's time for the Fabletics haul. So I wanna show you guys all the pieces I got from them. Such cute stuff. I'm like so excited about this. I just think it's so great and like they're affordable. That's like my favorite thing ever. It's so cute. So. Let's do it. Um, I lower this. All right, so like I mentioned, the first set is this little leopard one that I showed you guys earlier. And um, this is like kind of a, a basic throw over tank. And I love it, it comes in a bunch of colors. It, I like just having like a very simple top to throw over the top of my workout outfits. It's kind of like a muscle tee. So you could tuck it like this. You could also just do like a little, not tie which i think is so cute just like that and it kind of crops it um so really good basic and i love it this is a size small and this is like a really cute little look with some sneakers okay and actually these pieces are all separate but i'm just like putting them together in sets so this sports bra oh i love i feel like you guys will really like this too i am obsessed with this little detail it's like a little adjustable strap on the side here and then this one's like a standstill and has a little mesh lining at the bottom i feel like this one runs a little bit more snug i think it's for like high impact so this is a small it fits perfectly it's just a little bit harder to get on and then these are their power hold leggings which are amazing i feel like the small is perfect i would not go up a size at all um super just like in there and these are just black so i got these so i could match them with like a bunch of different bras um to make like little sets but i feel like this is a really cute like chic set okay sorry i had to switch my orientation but um here is the next little bra and i'm just wearing it with the same leggings but i love this one because it's black and baby pink the back is super cute and this is also a size small but really cute to just match together you could also do like a pink legging but i feel like it looks like a cute set this i think is one of like their best selling bras really really comfortable nice neckline and it's like kind of mesh here and there's so many different colors so i love the baby pink and black i think it's a really cute combo okay this one is so cute so this is like a little seamless set and i like how the top is more of like a three quarter length like short sleeve um so you probably definitely need to wear a sports bra under this it's simply just more of like a top but really cute and the leggings are also seamless and it's like a charcoal and black combo i went down to an extra small for the seamless because i i just feel like seamless styles tend to be um way more stretchy and so the extra small is perfect but such a cute duo set and i love it so much um small on the top and extra small on the bottom all right and here is the last two pieces so i love this one because it's like the shiny kind of like latex looking black and gray but it has the little floral detail so it's like edgy with girly i love it and then the leggings and they're kind of like more of a silky style which i am obsessed with the um, detail down the bottom 
high-waisted, a little band, and just so cute together. So the gray is like a nice change up from black all the time. So I just really like this combo. I think it's really cool together. Those are all the pieces. I'll have them all linked below with sizes and everything. Also, um, if you guys join their VIP membership, you will get all of the pieces like extremely discounted. You can buy things in bundles, like in outfits, and it's like super affordable. Um, or if you like wanna freeze it one month, you can like put it on frozen and then you can like opt in the next month so i think that's definitely way the way to go you also when you sign up for the vip membership get two leggings for 24 dollars, which is insane because the leggings are like i don't know around like 60 to 80 normally so such a good deal i love how they do that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the little haul um and we'll get back into the vlog i'm gonna get back to work and then um probably eat some lunch in a little bit so i'll see you guys then so I'm just working right now answering some emails um, and I'm getting kind of hungry so I want to have a salad soon so I'll probably um, do that in a second but um, yeah just answering emails for a little bit. I also just got in a package from Majuri so I thought I would show it to you guys. One of my favorite jewelry brands and oh gosh i now have a discount code for majuri which is really exciting so i'll put it here on the screen but um i love their pieces and they came out with a croissant collection that's what they call it so it's very fitting for my trip and it just all the pieces look like a croissant like the texture they have the best quality jewelry it um is like pretty affordable but still really nice quality so here's the bracelet how cute is that also i always get questions about my um everyday hoops these gold ones here with the little drops these are majuri also and i always get questions about them they have the best stuff really cute like little pieces um that are really nice and don't tarnish so they also sent the little earrings and then the matching ring which i love oh my god <gasps> obsessed okay i just have to cut off the tags but i love them anyway so i'll leave those down below with a discount code but um just thought i'd share anyways we're gonna eat lunch soon okay so something i did yesterday i just have had so much going on i've been busy i mean story of my life i'm like always busy right i feel like i'm always telling you guys this but i um just really didn't want to cook this week while hunter was out of town like the house is clean and i love cooking but i just didn't want to mess with it and i was like you know what i'm gonna buy pre-made meals and i'm not gonna cook like i kind of feel like a rebel but it feels so good so i went to chop shop yesterday which is a local restaurant here and it's my favorite Wow, sorry, my favorite kale and quinoa salad. And I got three of them with chicken. And I also went to Snap Kitchen. I showed this on Instagram, but I'll just show it here. And I got three little pre-made meals. This is butter chicken with broccoli rice, salmon with um, some rice, I think. What is it? it? Doesn't say. And then this is, oh, sweet chili glazed salmon. And then this is bison quinoa hash. So those I'll probably eat for dinners and the salad for lunch. So I'm going to have one of these now. But I love this salad so much. It is obviously, it is obviously kale and quinoa. And it has chicken, almonds, um, raisins, tomatoes. What else is in here? Come on, focus on the salad. Yeah, I don't know what else, but it's just a bunch of goodness and it's freaking amazing. So I think they have them like in Arizona, California. I don't know, look on their website, but I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna just put it in a bowl. Where's my um, orange bowl? Let me go get that. Where's my orange bowl? And I'm just gonna dump it in here so I can toss it effectively. And this uh dressing is like the best part it's kind of like a caesar dressing like a lemon dijon so i know so many of you guys have been like i don't have a chop shop so you should try and recreate this recipe and i will i just haven't had the downtime to be able to like really 
think about it and enjoy doing that. So I will eventually try to recreate it. Oh my God, so good. I ate like garbage last week and it was so funny because I went and got this salad on the weekend and I was like, I, my body is like dying. Like I need vegetables, I need something clean. And I went and ate this and instantly like the next day I popped up, I felt so much more energetic and light. And it's just like you forget when you get on a bad track, like how good you feel when you eat healthy. And it's just like makes it so much easier to function. Like I'm crazy. I mean too, like when you get in this habit of like eating junk food, like I was eating just like a lot of Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, which, oh my God, that sounds really good, Chick-fil-A, but, um, and like so much Halloween candy. I threw all the Halloween candy away because I'm like, I cannot have this anymore because I just keep eating it for no reason. I'm not even like a sugar person. So, um, it's just this cycle and then your body craves it more and more and more. And I was like, I have to break, break this. So I finally did. And I feel so much better. I'm sleeping better, more energy, less cravings. Like my mood too was like really bad. I was like, kind of like getting more snappy. I don't know, it was really, I haven't eaten like that in a while and I was like, you definitely notice a difference. So, anyway, I'm gonna eat. Bye. Evening you guys, I am just heating up some dinner, one of my snack kitchen meals. I'm doing the salmon tonight. Literally a minute and 30 seconds, hallelujah. So. Me and Goose, you can't see Goose. Let's see here. Goosey, you wanna, oh, there you are. You wanna say hi to everybody. I love you. I think you're cute. I think you're really cute. Okay, so I just realized the salmon is supposed to have like a glaze on it, but I don't have the sauce, so that kind of sucks. So I might just put like some avocado on top. Let's see. You diddy dumb Goose, Ow, hot. So good, so easy. I love it. Oh, it's just sometimes being the person that does like all of the meal planning and cooking, like while I love it and I like keeping us like healthy, sometimes there's just those days. There's just those days where you're like, I just don't want to have to like worry about that responsibility. Um, and I just want to be served some food and not have to think about it, not have to take the time. And maybe you get that hour back to like, you know, enjoy a show or a YouTube video or something. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna embrace this week of not cooking. <laughs> so sorry, it's not very fun for you guys. I know you love cooking ideas, but you know, I should do like one of those like home chefs or like Hello Fresh or something because that's like, it shaves the time down and you don't have to plan it. Maybe I'll do that. I should get back into that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of salt. What? Oh my gosh. The Malden Sea Salt Flakes. I'm obsessed with these. It's like chunky salt crystals. And it's like 400 calories, which is perfect. Thank you for keeping me healthy. Let me think about it. A plus, okay. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, kind of relax, and I'll see you guys later. Just finished watching some YouTube, and I have a sweet tooth. And I'm pretty sure I have a Twix in my purse, so I'm looking for it. <laughs> I'm like, I know I have it in here. Goose, where's my Twix? Did I throw it away? Peanut M&M's. I know, I like, you know when you go places and there's candy bowls and you grab random candy? Maybe I'm the only one that does that. But I know I have a Twix, Goosey. Where is it? I need it. I found the Twix. Do you want some? Oh, you can have any. Mm. 
I threw away all of the other Halloween candy because I just know if I left it in my house, I would eat it. But I'm down to one piece. I've got the peanut M&Ms left and that's it. It's done. It's me and you, Goose. That's it. It's none for you. Mm -mm. I know, at this point I'm just like talking to myself because like I've had no human interaction today. Well, I did go out of the house for a little bit. But, come on Goosey. We're going to bed. We gotta get on lockdown. Come on Goose. Goose, Jeffrey Robbins. Okay, so we need to get ready for bed. What's happening tomorrow? I'm getting my hair done. I have to get these tape-in extensions moved up. Here they are. And I get questions a lot about what I've thought about them. I really like tape-ins. For my hair, I find that they're like, I don't know, they just work the best for my hair. They're like easy. Um, I don't like that you have to get them like moved up every two months, but it's not that bad. And I just feel like they're the easiest to take care of. They are disguised the most, so I've tried so many different types of extensions and I really like the tape-ins. I mean, I don't necessarily still think that they're like great for your hair, but out of all of them, you know, I think they're the best, so. I'm gonna lock the door. I like literally, I was telling you guys on Instagram, I like lock myself in the house when Hunter is gone and I keep the dog in the room with me I lock the bedroom I lock all the doors like I literally like put myself in like a prison cell because I get like scared that I just get extra paranoid when Hunter's not here so anyways um okay let's get ready for bed Goose is already on the bed and I recently did my entire skincare routine um I did a whole video so uh you guys can check that out if you want like a detailed breakdown, I'm just gonna break down my makeup with the um, Sephora Collection Cleansing Oil. And I'll be back in a second. Great. And Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with SPF. Just my ride or die. You guys already know. And then at nighttime, I mix in a little bit of my Core Organics face oil again if you have any questions it's all in the skincare routine it's very in-depth literally every step that I do all the questions should be answered in that bit so. Actually, it's like pretty early when my oh it's 9 20 yeah it's pretty good um gosh but it feels so weird vlogging alone I feel like I just like don't even <laughs> it's like I don't even know what to say to you guys because I haven't vlogged alone in so long anyways um that's kind of it I think I'm gonna FaceTime my sister right now because we have been playing phone tag and then <sighs> gonna get a good night's sleep Gotta go get my hair did tomorrow. And yeah, so good night. I love you guys. Bring you along for more fun tomorrow. Morning, everybody. I, oh, sorry, I have this camera on a tripod and I'm trying to, it's not the easiest, oh God. It's not the easiest for vlogging, but you know, here we are. All right, making some coffee. Um, I don't know if I already showed this yesterday, but here it is again. Silk Almond Pumpkin Spice Creamer. And I am all about a coffee pot. I don't know what it is. I like have to have coffee out of like a coffee pot every morning. To me, it's like the only way. It's not only the best tasting, but it's like cozy too. Um... It's like cozy, you like brew a whole pot, it 
you grind the beans like fresh the fresh water everything is like just more fresh and to me it just tastes way better um it's like my preference over oh <laughs> stalker my preference over like a keurig or something i don't mind keurig like i'll drink it if i'm like in a hurry or if somebody has that at their house but um just if i get to choose for an everyday coffee brew i'm gonna brew a pot of coffee so that's the deal um hey stalker what are you doing so i literally just woke up still like puffy and tired um and i'm going through my beauty closet which i still have not transitioned from the other office like i get all of like the new products that i've been getting i've been putting in here and then the ones that um are from like any time before i moved into this office are still in the other one so i still have to move that closet over but i just was thinking last night i might as well start looking for little travel size things that i can bring on my trip just to kind of like prepare ahead of time so i'm looking through some of my stuff this is like a mini cleanser from curology that i got and i'm really picky about my skincare but this is a mini size You can fill anything in it, so maybe I'll do that. Okay. I'll pull these out. Oh, yes. A mini spray. I need that. Hydra Boost Eye Concentrate. Let's try it. Hmm. Okay, I like that. CEO Glow Vitamin C. Oh, this looks cool. Fortunately in this job, well, maybe not fortunately, but you get so many products to try You can't really try them at a rate fast enough because One person just doesn't need that many things. So I as you guys know for vlog week I always used to do giveaways and Honestly the reason I skipped I think one or two months of giveaways just was because I didn't have a lot of products left I would do giveaways every day of the vlog of vlog week for you guys with all of my beauty products because I'm like I want you guys to enjoy them I cannot get through them fast enough um, and I just kind of slowed down on them because I didn't have enough products to like give away really like my stock was low but it's been I needed to let it like build back up so I am working towards uh, vlog miss giveaways which are gonna be back in action I did them last year I did 12 days of Christmas like 12 days of giveaways and it'll be a bunch of different stuff beauty products um, beauty products I find that you guys like the most sometimes I try to do clothes but that's a little bit harder because of sizing and just everyone has a different style um, so I'll try to do maybe like jewelry and beauty um, Whatever I can kind of manage to like pull together. It's always kind of random just because it's whatever people send But it's always really good stuff and um, I mean we get good stuff. It's just like you can't try it, you know all at one time. So Be looking forward to that. You'll definitely want to stay tuned for giveaways because they're gonna be coming in hot 12 days you guys of giveaways with vlogmas so i also thought i'd mention that i'm feeling very stressed about home decor um not home decor christmas decor i feel like everyone it's weird because when halloween was over i was like i am ready to put up my christmas tree like i wanted to put it up right away but now even more i'm seeing everyone on instagram putting up their christmas trees and not that i like care if i'm like keeping up with people but i want to put mine up and then i see everyone else doing it and i'm like oh my gosh i want to do it and the reason is i know it's really early but um we are traveling so much in december that and even in november i just want to put it up because probably the amount of time that i'll actually end up being home between november and december is like about a month and that's usually about the time that you get to have your tree up and you get to be home and enjoy it so i want to get it up early so i can like really get in the spirit because i feel like i get it up and it's always like too late so i did like my plan for decor is i did a 
real tree last year and that was just like a little intense like i love doing it and i love that my mom did a real tree every year growing up it, it smells so good it's so fun we would go to the christmas tree farm but man that was like just a whole thing and i just don't know if i have the energy for that this year so i'm looking into a faux tree and i found one that i think looks really good on this site called king of christmas and i want to get a flocked one and my tree last year was just like honestly so embarrassing and so depressing like i am embarrassed of the tree like it was not up to my standards at all and christmas decor is like kind of hard it's kind of like a niche like skill that you have to have so i'm really gonna like go for it this year and um just with my tree i'm not gonna do like crazy amount of decor i'm just thinking a few things this is what i'm thinking i'll just so gonna do a massive tree i want like a 12 footer right and it's gonna be white gold silver ease i think i also saw this i always look through catalogs when they come in the mail um because i get good inspiration but i saw this little garland over the mantle with the candles and i just liked how simple it was and just kind of like chic and like not overdone so i'm literally keeping this actually i might as well just rip it out um i'm keeping this as my mantle inspiration so i'm thinking that and then i want to do a christmas like floral centerpiece for my coffee table and then one for my island and maybe a few lanterns by the fireplace with like some lights in them and that's kind of it like a wreath on the front door obviously but um yeah i think that's kind of like my plan i just know again we're not gonna be home that much so i want it to feel christmasy but i don't want to like do the whole like every room in the house i just like don't think that i can handle that this year um and it'll just stress me out and it's just like not worth it so having a tree in the living room i feel like the main living space if it's in there it'll feel good i also have a little pink tree i'll probably put that in my office um but hunter like hates getting out the christmas decor it's like him and his dad always joke about it because it's like the bane of their existence like i'm sure if the, your husband watching this and you hate putting getting down the christmas decorations like i'm sure it's like totally a guy thing so we had some little if you're wondering what these are we had um there used to be light fixtures there for when this was a media room and uh, by the way we are working on editing the whole transformation video so it's coming you guys just a lot of videos to edit hunter's like literally like editing videos as he is like flying to portugal like for work he's like editing them in his hotel room like it just like takes a lot of time and it takes hours to edit one video especially like um maybe a more like a home decor video or a vlog like those take like long time so it's really hard when you're like trying to live your life and like it's kind of fragmented because um you know he's like trying to work he'll get a couple hours in here a couple hours in there but that's why it'll take multiple days and we'll say it's coming it's coming anyways so uh this used to be a media room there used to be light sconces there because this had no windows and it was dark and um we had to have a drywall or come and patch over the hole but they don't patch it like with your paint color obviously it's just like this grayish taupey putty so now we need to get more of the white paint the infamous paint from Home Depot. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Vlog Week. And um, and then paint over it, let it dry, and once that's dry, like we can do it. But God knows I am not voluntarily going to Home Depot by myself, hell no. So I'll wait till Hunter gets home and do that. I already took the tape off of the windows and I was like, that's as far as I go. Like I can't do anything more than that. Um, I don't mean to sound like a brat it's just not my like skill set you know like i get really impatient i was just ripping the tape and like the paint was chipping off <sighs> i just don't i don't i don't have a lot of patience my patience level is like very low hunters is higher um he's like really patient but i am like let's be efficient i want things to happen quickly um i don't want to waste time i just like don't it's just not my um I struggle with it i struggle with like i need to take it down a few notches um but i think you guys know this you know i'm like a little bit high strung i, I don't understand know if it's high strung i don't know what the word would be but some days i feel calmer than others but i'm just like 
Hunter calls me a busy aunt, like a working aunt. Like I just like, I don't know, I just go fast and I do like a lot of things and that's just like how my mom is. You guys know, if you've seen my mom, you know how she is. So I just like inherited that behavior. I don't know what it is, but I just like go at a million miles and I'm like, let's get as much done as we can. My not honest, I'm not saying it's like the right way to be at all. Um, I like love when people are like more chill but I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying nonsense. So I'm just gonna drink my coffee and answer some emails. to go look at some Christmas decor before I leave. Um, okay, I'm starting with this Beauty Blender Pore Minimizer Primer. Let's see how this works. Okay, I'm switching you to here. Um, okay, wow, I actually feel like that primer was really good. Moving on to my foundation. I have been loving the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation lately. I showed this on Instagram because you guys were asking a lot. And I'm just mixing two colors because my tan is kind of fading. So mixing two, like one, one lighter and one darker as you can see. Okay, next. I picked up this concealer yesterday from Makeup Revolution just because I love their foundation so much. This is the Conceal and Hydrate. Um, and I got it in the shade C4. I normally love my Too Faced Born this way, but I thought I'd just give it a try because I love trying new things. So it's nice and like thin, which I like. Okay. Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder to set my concealer. I get this in the shade 10 Fair. It's like all over face powder, but I use it under my eyes. And my favorite thing to do with setting is have my sponge be kind of like damp, like more damp than you would think. I feel like it really like melts the powder into your face. It looks super blended. Okay, and this is what I was really excited to try today is the cloud paint from Glossier. I got it in the shade Dusk. Okay, and then I also got this brush from Morphe. It is their M427. But, um, okay, I'm just gonna blend it. I blend it on my hand a little bit and I'm just gonna like pick up some of the product and kinda brush it on there. Natural, it's exactly what I wanted. And then I also got <clears throat> the Glossier Halo Scope Do Effect Highlighter in the shade Quartz, so it looks like this. And I'm also gonna just take this brush. I'm just like not good with my fingers. I like applying things with brushes, I don't know why. I feel like I have more control. It's not what I'm used to, but I feel like that's how things usually are when you try out new stuff, so I'll just see. And you kind of have to try them different combinations. You know, maybe it'll go better with like a different bronzer or something like that. This is just like a powder brush. I'm just kind of blending everything. Okay, and then what I do for eyes, I've been using my e.l.f. eye palette. I love this thing. It's so easy and just like all in one. And I just kind of mix the browns and like put them on my lid. 
and I take a small angled brush and I kind of dip in the brown and black and I make a little bit of a line. It can be super messy. And I go back through the pencil brush and I fuzz it out. So it's like smoked. And it's like a very soft kind of definition on your eye for like an everyday. I love it. Okay, Sephora Collection Brow Gel. I'm gonna spray before I apply my mascara. I just picked up this Mario Badescu um, Aloe Rose Water, and I wanna start using this as my spray. I think it's leaking. Oh shoot, my cap was off, okay, so. And you can use this to like set your makeup, so. And I love more like, not hydrating um, setting mist, but not mattifying ones because I, want everything like the powders to kind of like melt in and everything so i just like kind of like a facial skincare mist as my final setting spray usually my ride or die bad girl bang i love this mascara my favorite i need to get a new tube my blush is like a little bit soft i like a little bit more of a pungent blush so i'm gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury palette just add a little bit there we go. This is the um, Glowgasm face palette. I love this palette so much. And it's like a shimmery blush, so still gives a glow. Like it. I'm loving the concealer. I'm really impressed. And I just actually everything's looking very glowy, but not overly glowy, which is kind of what I love. I don't like too much glow because I do get like a little bit of natural oil production throughout the day so I never like things to be too glowy right off the bat because um, then I end up looking a little glowy so this looks good I'm just gonna buff away these mascara marks and for lips I've been loving this dear Dahlia gloss I got this a while back in a PR package and I love their lip glosses it's called morning dew it's like a very dewy um gloss and why i love it is it smells like lavender mm. and i'm so picky with scents for glosses i don't like fruity i only like like mint and lavender is like so beautiful i've never seen anyone scent their um glosses or lip products with lavender it's just like so nice and like relaxing so i love this one and it's just like super clear and glossy but it's not sticky at all it almost feels like a balm and i got this lip liner the other day at sephora but i haven't i don't know still not sure about it it's um charlotte tilbury iconic nude so i was just gonna put a little bit the edges of my lips just to give them a little definition i like the color i mean i'm not sure how i feel about it yet but it's nice outfit time okay i'm thinking like a cozy vibe so here is my base this is i mean shocker comfy cozy vibe okay so here's my base these are my boohoo sweats from my basic favorite basics video if you haven't seen that you are under a rock and it's the best video to so many good things oh someone's at the door one second okay um nasty gal package just in time for Paris, Deuce. Yeah. I do have to just really quickly look at this jacket. Yeah, I got from there. Hi. Thank you. I was so excited about it. It was like the last one in stock. But the trench. And it has, oh my god, it's so cute. It has, um plaid on the inside oh obsessed i had to get a medium because they didn't have it in my size but i don't even care i love it and i'll let you guys know if it comes back in stock so the um pants are boohoo sweats and in a windsor a little basic like ribbed turtleneck with the lettuce edge and then I'm thinking for shoes, I kind of want to like dress it up. So I feel like I'm going to do like a booty, like a soft booty. Need some socks. So I think I'm pretty happy with this. Here it is. Can you see? 
booties, sweats, turtleneck, and leather jacket. I feel like this is cute. And I'm gonna get on some jewelry and stuff. And then we'll go. Okay, I am just heading out. Just realized I forgot to put the trash cans in from the other night, so I need to do that really quick. Okay, and then let's go. I'm going to get my hair done. So I will see you guys when I get there. I gotta put this away so I can drive. Just made it to Dallas, and I am just down the street from my hair appointment, and I have about 30 minutes to kill, so there is a Z gallery right here, and I think I'm just gonna run in um, and look at some Christmas decor. I'm like, I have the Christmas itch. I wanna like decorate so bad. Oh my God, that dog is so cute. Oh my god, what kind of dog is that? Oh, I like it. Um, so I'm gonna go take a glance. I feel like Z Gallery will like know what's up when it comes to Christmas decor. I feel like they just like, they would get something like that, you know? They're good at like that kind of over the top glamor. I feel like they'll have good decor. So let's go in there and check it out. Okay, I feel like they don't have most of it out yet. These little white trees are cute, very simple, neutral. And I love these just little fur stockings. How much are these? 36, white fur, it's cute. And this flocked tree. So I think I'm gonna do a flock tree this year, definitely. A faux one, but I think I'm gonna go, like if you were to take all the mint colors off, I think I'm gonna go gold and like silver and white, obviously like neutral. So it's kind of the vision. How gorgeous for like the countertop. It's really pretty. $89, that's actually so good for how big these are. But yeah, if you like have pink in your decor, pink fur is really cute. The pink fur stockings, faux fur obviously. And lastly, I think these are really cool modern like you could put some like little Christmas tree branches in those and be like a fun modern kind of decor maybe I'll get some of these where would I put these Let's see I don't know all right that was a nice pit stop but now I'm going to get my hair done with Jacqueline at Voss Salon in Dallas she's the best so cute she does lots of extensions and color and stuff so I'll show you guys a little bit of us doing her on my hair. Okay, I'm at the salon getting my hair done with Jacqueline. Is it Jacqueline or Jacqueline? Jacqueline. You, Jacqueline, that's what yeah. I thought. Okay, sorry. Um, I'll put her Instagram here on the screen, but she works at Boss Salon in Dallas and she does color cut extensions, extension master. Yeah, she does the hand tied, which is like most popular and she's gonna do them on me eventually. I'm just like too in my pattern right now with tape ins. So I was telling them earlier, I like love tape ins, but I want to try them eventually. So she's gonna do them. Um, but she's just doing a little bit of highlights right now. Tell them a couple what you're of baby lights. Yes. Just to kind of break up her root a little bit and match them up to her tape and extensions. Yes, because my root is like just gotten really dark. My extensions are really blonde. So we're gonna do that. And then she's gonna put my tape ins back in and do it all up. Okay, so. She, I'm in buried in foils right now. I look like I'm from space, but um, this uh, spray bottle she's using, so it's so cool. Hey, will you show that bottle? The conditioner. It's like so modern. I think it's so cool, but she's taking out the ones, like the highlights that we put in first because they like obviously get lighter first. Instead of waiting to the end to wash them out at the same time, she's like already rinsing like just a few of them. So I think that's pretty cool, and that's pretty ball I want for my house. I don't even know what I'd use it for, but I really like it. Here's the water bottle. It's, I just love it. Where do you get get these? Do you know? Okay. I'm gonna go get them. She put conditioner in. That's why there's like bubbles in there, but love it. We taping the extensions. We took them out, and then they put new tape on, and you can reuse them. Okay. I'm home. And I'm so hungry. I'm um, just had to eat a salad, so I was like literally about to pass out. 
But here's my hair. Definitely much warmer. Um, and I think I'm happy with it. I feel like it was getting maybe, I don't know, it was looking like ashy at my root. And I feel like it looks golden and I really like that. So I'm very happy and it's a closer to my natural color a little bit. So, you know, you never know how these things are gonna go when you go in, you're just like, I think a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But anyways, she did such a good job, she's amazing. And I love her, so if you're in the Dallas area, definitely go check out Jacqueline. She's super fast, but like good at what she does. She's very sweet, she's kinda like young and keeps up with the times of like what's like modern, you know? So, um, and she does hand tight extensions, which I'm gonna get next time. So, I just got home. Mm. And I'm eating Chop Shop salad, which I got earlier this week, as I showed you guys. And, I need to spend the evening shipping out Poshmark orders. Cause I have a lot to do tomorrow. And my hair took longer than I thought it was going to today, so I was gone all day. I thought I was gonna come back a little bit earlier, but it didn't work out the way, which is fine. Anyways, so that's what I'm gonna do. Good morning, you guys. Uh, I am having some coffee, and I am shipping out all of your Poshmark orders. So um, if you guys didn't know, I list a lot of my clothes on Poshmark so you guys can shop them. Um, due to your request for that. So um, normally I would just donate them or do like a closet sale or something, but I know you guys really want to be able to shop the pieces. So I take the time to list them and everything. So hopefully you guys can enjoy um, shopping the closet if you want to. I'll leave a link to it down below. But anyway, so I'm spending time shipping out all of the orders. So these like literally go all the way down to the couch, but it's kind of like a second business, but you know, it's worth it. And I'm just like having my morning coffee, watching Sophie and Shinzia. They just put up their Halloween. Oh, this is a week ago. Wow, I'm way behind. Anyways, I missed their get ready. So um, I'm gonna watch that while I tape up all of my orders. I have my ironing board here from the other day. So I'm just kind of like using it as a little packing station. And Goose is here too. He's so cute. He did such a good job protecting me last night. I freaked out because, story time. Um, I freaked out because yesterday, so as you guys know, here, let me move over here. I obviously am home alone and um, I'm really paranoid like when I am by myself, I like lock all the doors in the house. Um, as I showed you guys on Instagram and so many of you guys were like, I do the same thing. Hi baby, I know. Um, so when I'm when Hunter's out of town, I will lock my bedroom door. I bring the dog into the room with me, and I close all the curtains, like everything. I'm like on lockdown, and um, I generally feel like really safe in our neighborhood. Probably the safest place that we've ever lived. But I still just like my number one fear is like anything ever happening. So I know a lot of you guys feel the same way because like I got hundreds of messages from you guys. Like literally, I do the same thing. So anyways, I was really weirded out yesterday because in the middle of the day, there was this guy walking by, he was like in a hoodie and he just didn't look like in place of the neighborhood. Like I, we live on, ow, okay, okay, okay. We live on the like pathway in our neighborhood. So our back gate is like exposed to the trail, which I like because I like, we like getting to like talk to people when they walk by. We always, you know, take Noah walking every day. So it's nice to live on the trail. But, um, everyone that walks by is usually like, I recognize almost everybody that walks by, they live in the neighborhood. They have either a dog, they're walking their dog. They have a baby stroller. They're walking with a friend. Like, so this guy came by, I, first of all, I had never, I didn't recognize him at all. He had a hoodie on 
and um, he was walking by himself. He had nothing with him. No dog, no baby, no friend, not even like, I thought maybe he was maybe one of the construction workers and he was like maybe on his lunch break, but he didn't even have like a water bottle with him. Like maybe, you know, on your lunch break, you'd maybe be like drinking something or like, you know, taking a walk by yourself. I totally get that, like eating your lunch. Um, so I noticed it and he walked by and he was looking at our yard because you know we recently did our backyard. And he was like checking it out. So I was like, oh, maybe he's from the HOA of our neighborhood, which they like monitor, you know, what plants you put in and stuff like that. You have to like get it approved. Um, so I was like, maybe he's part of the HOA and he's like trying to spy and like see what plants are in our yard. So he, I was like, I don't know, maybe. So he walked by this way and then I was like, okay, that was like kind of scary, whatever. Well, he literally turns around right when he passes our house and does another pass on our backyard and he had his hoodie on and I could see him going like this as he was walking by and it was like he wasn't he was trying to like, like he was he looked shady as f and he was trying to look into the backyard or at our house like i'm not sure what he was doing and i was like that's it made me feel uncomfortable because i was like i i want to tell myself he was just looking at the yard and like i don't have a problem with that like whatever but it made me nervous that he was like looking for you know i don't know like the patterns of our of our yard to like break into our house or something or like I don't know what what it was for but it really weirded me out and the reason I was like what was weird is that the way he was looking into the yard was that he was like trying to be sly and I'm like I don't get it because we have so many nosy neighbors and like literally every person that walks by on their dog walk will be like oh look it because we just read it our yard and there's not very many um landscaped yards in our neighborhood so it's like a little bit of like um a rarity so I get it people are curious so they look but they look like very like oh check that out and like they look in but he was like trying to act like he wasn't looking like it was like this type of like side eye thing and i was like why is he if you want to look at the yard just look at the yard like i don't care so i'm 1000 percent freaked out so i literally didn't go to bed until 12 30 last night because i couldn't my body like couldn't relax because i was just thinking about it and I was like, this is gonna be the night that like I'm gonna get murdered, like it's gonna happen. And <laughs> um, and then I woke up at like three, five, and seven, and um, Goose did such a good job barking and protecting me. Like he would for sure bark if like anything were to happen. And but I just don't. I don't know if people are like scared of dogs anymore. So. Anyways, I was just a little nervous. So I called my dad and I was like, what am I gonna do if this happens? And he's like he's like seriously like you're probably overthinking it but if anything happens anyone comes in you just dial 911 like just don't be afraid like you literally he's like there's no ifs ands or buts you just dial it and like they will come and like that's all you got to do and i was like okay right like i didn't even think of that i like took a knife in my room and i'm crazy and like here i am like alive hi baby i know i love you um so anyways that's my story time but I'm still alive, I've got one more night. Alive and kicking, can't get rid of me that easily. No, I'm just kidding. This is the thing. The reason that I, it's just you wanna be aware. You know what I mean? Like, I was, um, I once, another story time. This is probably why I'm like very paranoid, but I got mugged in San Francisco, let's see now, probably seven years ago. And it was super scary because um, I was in a nice neighborhood. I was actually it was during my very first internship in college. I was home for summer interning at Sephora. And I was staying at my sister's apartment. She lives in Pacific Heights, which is like a nice, safe neighborhood in San Francisco. So I took the bus home and I got off of at the, bu the bus station and I started walking to her apartment and I text her roommate and I was like, hey, can you come down to the door to let me in? She's like, yeah, I'm on my way down. So I was like, perfect. So I was walking maybe two, I had maybe two blocks to walk and I see this guy and I'm like, I just know he's not, he doesn't fit in this neighborhood. Like he looked out of place. It's just, you take like the context clues, you know what kind of people live in the neighborhood, who you usually see um, and what, you know, they're usually coming from work, whatever. He was not, 
he did not fit there it was definitely whatever so we pass each other this way right and he literally same freaking situation as yesterday he literally passes me does a loop turns around and follows me and right when I get to my sister's apartment door I'm waiting for her roommate to come to the door I could see her at the top of the stairs thank god right he couldn't see her and he goes um excuse me ma'am do you have the time and I was like and you literally just kind of like freeze you know and I was like sure so I reach in my purse to get my phone and he pushes me up against the wall in a choke and pretends to hold a gun to my stomach and he says give me your wallet and I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out and I was like oh my god and literally like I you know your whole reaction like you literally just freeze you have you can't say anything and I just immediately reached for my wallet which had no money in it because it's 20 well at that time 2012 wow okay but same thing we didn't I didn't have I just had credit cards and stuff and um and then right when he had me there and I was grabbing my wallet the roommate was on the other side of the door like unlocking it and she was like what the hell like what is this guy doing and I'm like and he literally pulls away when he sees her and he goes I'm just messing with you and then he walks away and I was so traumatized like I mean thank god nothing happened and like he didn't get my wallet he didn't hurt me like nothing but the most traumatizing scary incident ever and um, anyways we ended up calling the cops and they were like super nice, took the report down. Well, he ended up robbing a lady two blocks down. They got like the report and everything. Anyways, so he did intend to steal my wallet. He was just like got caught and he was trying to play it off, right? So um, anyways, now I'm just really paranoid because it's almost like your nervous system is trained after that's happened to you that like when you see a similar like set of cues like it's literally like a physical response like you can't help it so I'm a little paranoid but you know I think it's just good to be like aware and um, I you know just notice those things I just try to like pay attention anyway so I'm still good but you know just be aware of your surroundings it can happen um, all right so that was quite the morning conversation um, I'm going to get to my packing and I mean not packing my shipping and then later I've got lots to do today packing planning outfits Okay, so it's a little bit later in the day, like 1.30, and I just finished filming a Boohoo haul. Oh, so many cute things. I think it will have already been up by now, so it's probably already live. Um, if you guys wanna go check it out, really good like winter staples, like boots, jackets, purses, sweaters, like really, really good stuff. So I feel like it was one of my best hauls yet. And lots of outfit ideas, always, as always. So, um, anyways, I think I'm going to eat some lunch in a second. Mm. But my brown hair is, like, really throwing me off. I just, like, I feel like I need, like, a really dark tan. I mean, per usual. I always feel weird without a tan. But, like, oh, I feel so pale. I mean, my arm still has some tanner on it. But I need this. I need to be this color up here. So, I'm probably going to put on, like... 10 layers of tanner tonight. I kind of want to just get sprayed. I don't really want to mess with it. Like I just want someone to spray me, but sometimes it's just so much easier to just do it yourself. I don't know. We'll decide. Anyways, um, I am just working, nothing exciting, and that's what's going on. So that's the update. Okay, what did I last record today? Oh, like eating lunch, I think. I have been editing so many videos, you guys. Lots of stuff going on. Um, because I have to leave tomorrow and I'm like starting to pack and prep. So I had to get all of the videos ready for you guys. So you can be entertained while um, we are in Paris. Okay, I am going to have my 
bison quinoa hash from Snap Kitchen. This is Hunter's favorite meal from them. And it's crazy that this is like 400 calories and I feel like this is like a lot of food, like it's very filling. But I have some leftover broccoli. Oh gosh, hello. Do I wanna do broccoli or greens, like a salad? I think I'll do steamed, mm -hmm. I'm gonna chop some lettuce up, oh hello and just make a really simple salad to go with it. Um, I'm gonna just put this, it says, remove label and loosen lid for a minute and 20 seconds. We love a minute and 20 second dinner, yes? Please. Okay. I feel bad because every time I talk to Hunter, I'm like, very chatty but it's so weird like when you're by yourself i'm like kind of enjoying I, I i like being alone like i don't mind it um but sometimes you like forget that you haven't really like talked to anyone so then when i get on the phone with him i'm like um just i have so much to say i went to dinner with my friend the other night and um, but since then I've just been like working and actually I've been talking on the phone a lot with like my family, but um, Anyways, I feel like it helped being alone because I know we're going like on a trip So it's like almost like exciting versus like it could be Probably get kind of like sad and lonely if you like had to be by yourself a lot um, with like a spouse out of um that has to travel for work so anyways let me finish this and then yeah so i'm gonna eat i'm not bothering to put this on in a pretty bowl because i just don't care no one's here just except a couple thousand of you guys watching me but um i just don't care so i'm so glad i made the decision not to cook this week it's been like the best decision i made in a long time so i'm gonna eat Okay, done with dinner, and now I'm in a predicament because I really want some chocolate, but I threw away all of the Halloween candy except the Starburst because I didn't want to keep eating it. So, oh, here I am. Um, are there any packages? Okay, no. So, I need to figure out and make a schedule of what I need to, need to do tomorrow so the day doesn't get away from me. So, I need to finish editing a video tonight and then I think I'm gonna like maybe I finish all my emails tonight and then that way tomorrow like I don't have to wake up and like do any admin work like I can literally just like clean up the kitchen take out the trash hey, hey, hey what take out the trash um pack up Noah's dog food pack my suitcase all that stuff I think mmm that's good Okay, I'm gonna figure out my life and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a full day of Paris prep.